Hello everyone. In this series, I am going to explain the state management in the Flutter. So you know the Flutter is uh, using the reactive programming or reactive paradigm. So in the reactive programming, there is something called state management. What's the state management here? What I mean by state management? I mean by state management, the UI in the application, the user interface, will change in the runtime depending on changing in the state. I mean we have a state or like a variable state, just a variable in the widget. So whenever this state is changing, the UI is changed or rebuilt again. You know in the Flutter, whether you're using the stateless widget or stateful widget, we have a built method, right? A built method using to build the UI, the user interface, like a button, like container, scaffold, and so on. So we have in the stateful widget, for example, and state management that mean we have a state in the widget and whenever this is state changing, the variable changing in the widget, the UI or the method built will recall again. I mean the framework will recall the build method again to rebuild the widget or to redraw the widget. Now here what's the difference between stateless widget and stateful widget? The stateless widget that mean static widget, that mean we have a build method, the framework just called the build method just one time, just once when the application start running, we call the build method to build the widget, to build the tree of widget in the application. While in the runtime, while application running, you cannot recall build method because you don't need to redraw the widget in the Flutter, in the application. So here, if you have a static widget, nothing change in the UI, the user interface, you need just a stateless widget. But in this stateful widget, it is in contrary. That mean we have a widget, we have a built method, but also we have a state inside this widget, like a variable. We have variables inside this widget, for example. Whenever the variable change, you need to rebuild the UI, the user interface. That mean we want to recall the built function or built method. Stateful widget using when we have a dynamic user interface. That mean when we click something, something will change in the user interface. We need to redraw the widget or recall the build method. So now I will give you an example about that. Run up and I have material widget, material app. In the material app I have home, you know that. In the home I want to add the class, for example, test. Just for example, to test something. Test can stand from stateless widget. That means static widget. Here in the stateless widget I want to call the build method, you know we have a build method to build the UI, the user interface. Just override this widget. This widget here you can see return a widget. The build method, this method return a widget. So here you should return a widget. So scaffold, in the scaffold I have just body, just for example. In the body I have center because I want to add the widget in the center. I have child, I have text for example, text for example. And also here I want to add a state or I add the variable here, like for example integer counter equals zero. That means this counter begin with zero, and I mean to see the I want to see the counter here in the widget in this text. Also I want to add a style to the text, text style. I want to add uh, font size to the 40 for example. After that in the scaffold also I have a float button. Floating action button. In the floating action button, I will to add floating action button. And this button, I have the child. The child just icon, for example, to add the data. And also we have on press or on tap on press. On press just a method here. Inside on press, I want to do something. But now after that, I have this. This is the interface and I want to run my application. Now you can see we have like this, the UI. When I click here, nothing happened, right? Because on a press it's empty. Now I want, now it is a stateless widget. Nothing changed in the UI. You can see here the UI, the user interface is static. When I click here, nothing changed, right? But what if I need, when I press in this button on a press here, I want to Add the one to the counter, I mean zero become one, two, three, four, and so on. So here I want to add something here. For example, I just add here counter plus plus here, for example. And here I want to print it. 
counter equal I can say here counter equal counter this dollar sign for variable so you can just pay attention here when I click here here counter equal one after that equal two equal three and so on because here I say counter plus plus that mean I want to add the one when I whenever I click the button here I want to add the one but here in the text in the widget here you can see the counter stay still zero not change because here it is a stateless widget so if I want to change the widget I want to change this value here I want to rebuild the widget to make it a stateful widget so here I cannot do that because see this change here but I cannot change the widget because I cannot rebuild the widget so to do that I want to make it to convert this class to the stateful widget so here I want to add the stateful widget so I want to delete everything just uh, this is scaffold I want to copy it to cut it because I want to begin uh, begin from the zero just I want to cut it because same thing and now I will begin to add a class also test but now extend from stateful widget stateful widget I should create a state so I should create another class or another object called the state you can see here we have a state that means it is written state great state I should create a state here so I create another class call it for example test state extends from state attention here this class it is store a state store a variable we have a state here a counter for example this class for storing the state for stateful widget so here if I say state and here generic that means state for what I want to store a state for what for which class of course I want to store a state for this class here so here I want to add test that means this class and then here return state I want to return state so I want to return this class because state now complete now here to just I want to build the widget I want to call the build right so here now the build function not just call one time or one time when application start running but everything when whenever I click the button this redraw recall this widget this method here build so here I want just to paste the scaffold because same thing here I add the scaffold and also here I want to add the counter so here I say integer for example counter counter equals zero and now I have counter counter equals zero now it is a state whenever this state change I want to rebuild the widget recall the build method so here same thing in the text I add I call this uh, variable or this state called the state in the stateful widget and here on the press I also add counter plus plus and the print here now also pay attention you can see now if I run the program run the application now you can see when I click plus here you can see it has changed it has become one right here become two three and so on but also here not change because here even in the stateful widget if you want to change the variable and the var of or if you want to change the state and to rebuild the method or rebuild the widget depending on this state changing you should call a function high level function call it set state so here i add set state in this function high level function that means this function add, uh, has a parameter also a function so here inside the set state I can I call this counter counter plus plus that mean here set state whenever this changing set state you cannot call the set state in the stateless widget that just exist in the stateful widget this method here so here that mean whenever counters change that mean I want to rebuild the method recall the build function and rebuild the text instead of 0 will be 1 2 3 and so on now if I compile if I run the application here now you can see when I click here whenever I click here you can see it is 1 rebuild the method change the UI click here change the UI again and again and again now here it is a difference between stateless widget and stateful widget in the simplest way we have a stateless widget you can see it is a static now here in the stateful widget it is a different 
whenever I click the button, whenever I click something, the UI is changed here. Something is changing here. So I rebuild the widget or recall the build method. Set state is just a simplest way, like this. We have just set state. Also, you can using the provider block pattern or uh, something like this. I hope it is useful. Thank you very much.